welcome back to another story time you know what i'm saying um today i got a quick little story for y'all before we get into it if y'all going to enjoy the video man um i would appreciate it if y'all leave a like and subscribe to your boy but let's get into it man so your boy got snuck right and i think i was in like the 10th grade maybe yeah i think like 10th grade or whatever that's when i started like i started getting taller i ain't gonna lie that's a very very monumental year for me no lie but so to set the scene, right, I'm in high school and to give you some background about how the niggas are at this school, a whole bunch of dick eating ass niggas, right? So like, let's just say you just stay to yourself. Niggas are just going to find a way just to fuck with you just because, right? Just because you just, you don't do that, that dick riding gang, not gang begging, but like clicking up with niggas. You just, you just do your own thing, right? So these weird niggas they be on that dick eating shit and then they try to oh look at his clothes blah, 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 whatever they just some weird ass niggas i can't even say the word i want to say for real but so now this particular individual right his name fucking munchy fucker i hate that i mean i hate that nigga with all my heart real life but the nigga already had already had problems with that nigga freshman year niggas like niggas they're trying they were trying to jump me before him and some other niggas all because i don't even know why real life i just i stayed in myself i'd be chilling I, i'm not going for no no fuck shit i'm not going for it even though i was little i was like hella small freshman year and a little bit of sophomore year but i was small so niggas would just automatically just fuck with me just because i'm the smallest nigga like i didn't hit my growth spurt until like later on in high school type shit so i already had problems with this nigga but once i had started getting like i had got a little bigger nigga stopped fucking with me you know what i'm saying so i was chilling now to set the scene we in weight training and um you know i'm i played football in high school so i'm with all the high like all the football players you know what i'm saying in this one class during school right and so the way we have to set it up was like we go in the locker room get dressed and we come out where the the weights are sit in line to do like roll call and all that bullshit just some bullshit right but this is where it takes place so now i'm sitting down at the far end this nigga the quarterback whole bunch of other niggas are at the top the front end right i'm chilling on the 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 far side and i'm chilling doing my own thing they right the quarterback some of the d linemen they are clowning this nigga i don't even know what they're talking about they just clowning this nigga they laughing at him this nigga not saying nothing to them right and i'm i'm peeping from a distance just because like they loud but it's weight training so it don't it don't fucking matter so now i'm chilling they talking shit i forget what they said i don't i really don't remember i think they call him like a bitch like or like a whole on some chill shit though and they all cool i i'm i'm thinking they all cool or whatever right so he's just sitting there taking it taking it taking it nobody's saying nothing to me right so then the quarterback this nigga set me up real life on oh god he was like um he was like hey mike ain't that right ain't that right i'm like what what are you talking about right so then he had said something i didn't hear the nigga i really didn't hear the nigga at all i was just like hell yeah like hell yeah ha 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 fake laughing fake laughing you know what i'm saying because again i just want niggas to leave me alone in real life so then they call me over there they call me over there and then uh he was like what you say i was like hell yeah hell yeah to whatever he had said to me i didn't know what he had said to me it turns out he had said to me ain't ain't munchy a bitch or something like something along those lines something crazy right but i didn't know i'm just saying hell yeah just so the nigga can leave me alone so then i so right like i said i come up there right i haven't been a part of this i just got here real life i just sat down right so now i'm sitting down all these niggas talking right now in the midst of me sitting down this fuck nigga gets up no he was never in front of me but he gets behind me nigga and hits the fuck out. well no he hits me but like in real life no lie no i'm not lying for y'all niggas the shit did not hurt real life but when you get hit and you're not expecting it your first reaction is to cover up and that's what i did because nigga you're not going to keep on hitting me on god so boom i cover up you know what i'm saying because i don't know where the hits come from. i'm shocked you know what i'm saying i'm confused i'm like whoa what the fuck so then eventually i get up and then the coach already got buddy and go lie you know what i'm saying i couldn't do nothing you know what i mean i'm not even gonna act like oh i got my lick back on the nigga or nothing like that hell no i took an l on this one real life i took a fat ass l but after the nigga gets done doing that i'm like i get i'm like nigga what the fuck you know what i'm saying and then angle like nigga had my eyes my 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 eye 
no not my eye my face was swollen but like it was just because the nigga hit me though well obviously you fucking dumbass nigga anywho we're gonna disregard that shit so yeah the nigga had my face swollen a little bit like the top right of my face was swollen like a little bit for like a brief period and then like after that i had to go to the nurse I had to go to the fucking nurse to fucking um to get some ice had to call my dad let the nigga know what happened um but yeah, that nigga, that nigga just a, a bitch ass nigga, real life. Because when you really think about it, I didn't do shit. Why didn't you get on the niggas that were clowning you? Why? Why? You know what I mean? Like, I didn't do nothing, real life. I, when I tell you, I sat down maybe two minutes, nigga. When, just, just because I agree, I agreed with what these niggas was talking about. You know what I'm saying? But the niggas that's actually clowning you, doing you dirty, you don't want to fight them niggas. You want to fight me. And then at, and then at that, you want to sneak me when I'm, I'm literally sitting down crisscross applesauce vibing. The nigga going to go off on me. You know what I'm saying? I say you are one bitch ass nigga real life. And I, I, I it's on site till I see that nigga to till this day to this day it's on site don't man i'm telling you and i've had so many more times them niggas try to jump me they try to corner me in the bathroom just because i don't fuck with them niggas i like i'm not a nigga that's gonna talk shit or nothing i'd be cooling niggas just they were just dick eating niggas oh god i'm telling you so many times they tried to jump me i'm a smart nigga i get out of there now you're not gonna get me real life you know what i'm saying but but yeah i think that nigga end up he ended up getting suspended or whatever ain't shit happened to me couldn't shit none there's nothing they could do to me you know what i'm saying i took an l you know what i'm saying i didn't get no licks back you know what i'm saying i'm, I'm always keep it a buck with y'all niggas you feel me so yeah um but yeah that was the story you know what i'm saying uh, it wasn't too long i hope y'all enjoyed if y'all did leave a like and subscribe to your boy and uh, i'll see y'all in the next video man